So the heat is rising and the lines are long. And once again, we are at Phoenix Comic Con. Shh, you wanna get sued? Yeah, no, it's Phoenix Fan Fusion now, but we all really know what it is. But yeah, SDCC is trying to get a grip on the name Comic Con. So Fan Fusion now is where we will venture forth into. Yes, we've got a long line ahead of us, so uh, let's go. Unfortunately, we were not able to get into Jeff Goldblum, but hey, it happens. Next time, you should probably get there earlier. Late to the party. Actually, we were not late to the party. We were fairly early, but the line itself was ridiculous to get into Jeff Goldblum. It was at capacity. They were turning everybody away, but that's okay because we are still going to get a photo op with Jeff Goldblum. Yeah. So now we're just going to wander the con until it's time to get that fabulous photo with Jeff Goldblum, Ian Malcolm. The Grand Master, Seth Brundle. <laughs> so many. So many. Gods, leave us. And of course, we cannot come to a convention without stopping at the Tino Evil booth. We love Tino Evil and all the shirts that they have. Different spins on different genres, whether it's Avengers, Game of Thrones, which Vanessa, you've seen her wear this shirt quite a few times in multiple videos. But I didn't know that they had the Ice Dragon Stout now, so that's pretty awesome. Yeah, that's pretty cool too. It's like a mixture between the two, and it has Thanos on it, so we have both So where can you guys find, or where, anybody that's interested in your shirts, man, where, where can they find um, you? You guys can find us on TitoEvil.com, and I just want to thank you guys for all your support. Um, the next big event that we're going to do is uh, Midsummer Scream in Long Beach, LA, California. And it's going to be in August. Midsummer Scream, we really want to go to that event too. So yeah. you might be seeing Tino Evil and the gang there with us once again. Hopefully, maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> Larry Poppins, yo. It reminds me of Jurassic World when the little kid is all like laughing because he's on a tiny tri triceratops. It's a lot of fun. So amazing. George, we don't blame you. We don't blame you at all. You are great. HCGart.com. If you guys are looking for any of those amazing 80s nostalgia pieces, we bought three of them from these guys here. They have a gallery in Los Angeles, amazing pieces. Uh, yeah, definitely are going to be picking up more prints from these guys. So. Yeah, I mean, the way that they incorporate like the Easter eggs into these posters here is phenomenal. So definitely check it out. So Joshua from Stranger Comics was just letting us know that a certain franchise mm -hmm. is getting picked up by HBO and it's known as... Uh, it's the World of Asunda, uh, which is a world created by Sebastian Jones over the last 30 years. It's a diverse uh, fantasy franchise and it all starts with this book right here, The Untamed, which will be the first season of the show. This is what we're adapting. And it opens on a dead man. After 10 years, the devil comes to this guy because he's not in a very good place, right? And the devil says, I'll make you a deal. I'll give you seven days to go back and reap the seven souls responsible for the murder of you and your family. And if you can do that, I'll set your soul free. We're ready to visit something new here. So, so that, that's what they want to do. They want to they want to build us up into a new franchise and, and take that fan base and just go, if you love that, you're really going to love this. Well, Joshua, we appreciate you getting into this with us because uh, honestly, I mean, it, we're late to the party. It's our name as well as our mantra. So we appreciate you catching us up to speed because I did not know this was coming from HBO. So thank you so much. And guys, check out Stranger Comics and see what is coming out before it actually hits 
HBO. There's a lot here to choose from. Yeah, a lot here to choose from. Story. So we are at Geeky G's with Barb and Milena. Girls, what do you have in store for the rest of us looking for some pretty geeky wares? Oh my gosh, we have such unique stuff. We have these dicky shirts with a great kind of bowling shirt design with all kinds of fandoms. We have these amazing scarves that have a zippered pocket for all those hidden things you need to carry around like your cell phone or mini bottles of whatever you like to have. We also make these great tote bags, you know, that hold a lot, but they're really lightweight and all your favorite fandoms and custom made shoes. Anything you like, we can do oh, it yeah. for you. If you don't see it here, we do custom work as well. So that's what makes it special. You can always tweak it to something that you're into, your fandom. Where can anybody that wants to get something personally made for them, where can they go to get that created? Well, definitely check out our Etsy shop, Geeky G's. Um, follow us on Instagram, geeky underscore G's, and you can see all the things that we've made. Thank you so much, Geeky G's, and definitely check them out, available on their shops. We'll have the links in the video down below. Great. Thank you. Thank you. So even though we missed out on the panel for Goldblum, we are now in line to actually meet him and take a photo op with him. Yeah. So it's not a total loss, and I just can't wait to be in the essence that is Jeff Goldblum, as are hundreds and hundreds of other people. Right behind the lady with the cane. Hey, heard no fat lady! Forget the fat lady, you're obsessed with the fat lady. Drive us out of here. Real good. <laughs> So we just met Jeff Goldblum. It was so fast before you even know it. We were in there standing next to him and he was singing. He was singing yes. in our ears. But it's classic Jeff Goldblum too and I love it. This is the photo we walked away with and it's just, it's so much better having Jeff Goldblum inside of it. Yeah. Uh, that was horrible phrasing, but either way, you know what? It's Jeff Goldblum, it's okay. But that was a fun experience, literally singing in our ears as yes. we're up there taking a photo love with it. him. And uh, he was amazing. He smelled amazing as well. Yeah, I did. <laughs> but thank you, Jeff, for your very short time uh, and droves of people that are here to see you. It was and worth the $120 yeah, that we paid for it. Still making it feel like it was special, even though we were probably one of the so thousand many. he already got yeah, to meet. Because he's so. only here for the one day. Yeah. So there's so many people there to meet him. And it was just in, in and out. But you know, he was just rocking and rolling with it. So it was fun. It was special. And then we're going to meet Paul Rubens as well. So that's exciting. Yeah. Superhero is always Pikachu. Oh man, they're carrying the character so well. I love it. You got red on you. We are going to head over to Paul Rubens' uh, panel uh, and watch, hopefully, watch. Him talk to us for an hour. So everything happened so fast, but we did end up getting Paul Rubens himself to autograph this awesome Pee Wee's Big Adventure poster that we picked up here at Phoenix Fan Fusion and even got him to quote, everyone I know has a big butt. Your pal Pee Wee Herman, we're friends, Vanessa. <laughs> did you know that? Me and Pee Wee Herman, we're, we're best buds. Yeah, you guys locked eyes like twice. Twice, yeah, but he was amazing. He definitely was a, a quite, uh, energized with the things that we said to him uh, and we weren't even planning to do it uh, as quick as we did right after Jeff Goldblum uh, it just kind of happened but now we are waiting in line to actually see Pee Wee's panel. We are. I'm looking forward to it. 
So I'm excited to see what he has to say. So beautiful. I love how daddy's the sun. <laughs> right above the Alamo. Yeah. Fish, 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 fish. Yeah, because I think I'm Paul Rubens. Woo! Oh! 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 Hello. I appreciate your waiting for me. I didn't mean to be so late. I got the wrong instructions and I went to Tempe. Is that where it is? <laughs> <laughs> Local joke. So we just came out of Paul Rubens' panel, and man, is he sarcastic. He's snarky, and I love it. Uh, he definitely had the whole crowd cracking up, uh, and everything that anybody would say, he typically would flip around on them. Uh, and yeah, when any, if anybody got up to to leave, he definitely called them out in front of everybody until they were out of the auditorium. What was great though too is that he took what they asked and then he made a bigger story out of it and he told yeah. more. Like, I know that there are certain times where they ask a question and then they just answer the question and they kind of move on. But he kind of had like question, like uh, story after story to the point where he was telling some stories that were like, oh dang, that's cool, like get to know. I kind of wanted to go up there to ask him about rest. Uh, from Disneyland. But we but, did get a lot of information that you were going to ask about what we do right. in the shadows. When we actually got the signing from him on the poster, we talked about a Mystery Men 2, and he yes. said that more than likely, that if it were to happen for That's any sequels, Mystery Men is one that would end up getting in the a height sequel. of all the superheroes yeah. happening, I feel like Mystery Men would probably do fairly well. Fairly well in the world of the superheroes that we are in now, especially ones that have that comedic aspect to yeah. it. So we do have a photo op also coming up with Paul Rubin. So let's get to that. The next day. After the crazy adventure of meeting Jeff Goldblum, taking a picture with him, meeting Paul Rubens, getting him to sign our poster, now we are going to get a photo op with Pee Wee himself. Yeah, we're going to try to do... Listening to Reason! Just did the picture with Paul Rubens, and of course, he's so gentle, he's so soft spoken. Yes, but we love him. Which is funny because it's so much unlike how he is in the panel, being so sarcastic and so snarky. Uh, but yeah, getting that picture with him, so gentle, I love him so much. Yeah. Uh, if you ever get a chance to take a picture, meet him, go to his table, hit up Paul Rubens because I mean, he is definitely one of the gentler souls. Yeah, and he's definitely an icon of movies that you kind of grew up with as a kid. If you were growing up in the 80s and 90s so it's a it was a fun time i love that story heard a rumor that you might be coming back to star wars okay no no i, I, I thought a rumor i'm sorry i'm sorry so we've been wandering the con floor and uh darla has been quite popular actually in the exhibition hall but yeah we uh so many amazing things this weekend that we want to buy like the last year or at least the last couple years that we have come, there have been maybe a couple things that we've wanted to buy, but man, they really stepped it up this year just in terms of the art, the collectibles. Uh, I'm really enjoying everything that they have available for purchase here. Yeah. To where we got we got the website to where we want to go buy their stuff because we got to save. Yeah. We got to save it. We do. And get it into our own hands. <laughs> They can't go to a con without walking into the, the universally famous TARDIS.
all, PlayStation has rolled out the semi with all the goodies in it, as well as Cobra Arcade always bringing their amazing, nostalgic video arcade cabinets to the show, all of them free to play. So if you have never been to Cobra Arcade because you are not of age, uh, you can actually come here and play all the games for free every year at Phoenix Fan Fusion. Darla, you're not old enough to play this game. It's too violent. And like most cons, it's partnered up with the old nostalgic console gaming too. They bring out all the CRTVs and old school tube televisions to be able to play the games of our childhood or even pre-childhood because a lot of kids here playing the games that made us who we are. And they're also doing a Super Smash Brothers tournament here in the exhibition hall. And that screen is amazing. We need him! <laughs> it's just like Joan Cusack's character. <laughs> and uh, 16 candles and she's trying to get water. Meat Transformers. Thought I'd never see the day. Fish. <laughs> so that is it for us at Phoenix Fan Fusion 2019. It was a hell of a time. Really enjoyed ourselves. Picked up a lot of great swag. Uh, yeah, we can't wait for next year. And San Diego Comic Con is coming up. Yeah. very soon and we're gonna be there and it's gonna be a lot of fun and I'm gonna have some more cosplays this time around I just did the one but it's always fun to go out and be a character yeah definitely uh, Darla from Finding Nemo was quite popular here uh, at Phoenix Fan Fusion but guys what did you think of it if you were here at Phoenix Fan Fusion definitely sound up down in the comments below I said it with an accent there, that got kind of weird. But either way guys, thank you so much. You can also like and subscribe. And do the thing on our Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Stardust. All the social networking. Gingoids, you know where they are, kick into the party. Fuel the party, keep the party going, get us to the places that we need to go, like Phoenix Fan Fusion. Thank you, Phoenix Fan Fusion, for bringing us out. We greatly appreciate it. We can't wait till next year. And SECC coming up very shortly. So thank you guys so much. And as always, now it's time to say goodbye. This party is over. Bye. My Grafthar's hammer. What a savings. <laughs> <laughs>